I went to my first Dave Matthews concert Wednesday. Oh yeah, we do have to it's talk about it. Yeah, it's the very first time I've ever seen you him. Got, and I got, a, I'm pretty shocked that you got very, you got very vocal on your Facebook page. And again, that fo Facebook page is under Rich Rogan Moser. So feel free to check that out right now. Yeah. So let's talk about this. Well, and 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 like I said, I don't, I don't, I like focusing on the positive things uh, generally, but I. The Darien Lake venue, and I just don't know how to say this. I, I mean, and we've all talked about this privately, but the mm -hmm. the sound there is just pathetic. It is the it is the worst venue to hear something, and I feel almost held hostage if you are a music fan in Buffalo because it's it's the venue, it's the Live Nation venue, it's where the tours are going to go, uh, and you know unless it's somebody who can really break ranks or who wants to break ranks, um, you're going to see you're going to see your act there, and I just think it's crazy that you can't hear. I went through the entire show in our seats and could not hear Carter's cymbals. I couldn't hear Dave sing in our seat. I know you are practically behind the drums. I was fr I was front row yeah. as always. As but always. Um, it, it is a really rough venue to see them. I mean, I've seen many acts, but I mean, I've seen them specifically from Madison Square Garden to you know uh, John Paul Jones Arena in Virginia. I've seen them everywhere. Uh, Darien is a rough venue you know, see, for any band. You see Dave a lot. Did the, was the show at Darien different? Because it seemed like people were saying that the show was different. Um, you mean song, set list wise? Set list wise or? and everything. I thought, no, I mean, it, compared to what they've been playing this year, it's it been falling in line, but what they've been playing this year has been just pulling stuff out of the box, you know. Um, I mean, you probably wouldn't know, but they did play a song at Darien they hadn't played in four years. Um, so they have been pulling stuff out of nowhere, but that's been consistent all tour that they've been, you know, just pulling stuff out that they haven't touched in years. Mick, you know I'm a psychopath. I I, so actually what I did, like I'll tell you what I did. <laughs> I, I, first thing I did, I called up Art Wall. And I'm like, Ooh. Art, how do we fix the sound at Darien? Mm -hmm. what, what, what has to be done at Darien Lake to fix the sound? It's driving me insane. And Art said very simply, and it's what I kind of thought it was. There's, there's a, a phenomenon called standing waves. Because that tent structure has all these crazy angles, the angles and it actually creates standing sound waves, which nothing can penetrate through. So what we need to do is, and next week I'll do this, I'll get email addresses, and people can, they, they're going to have to change that tent. And oh, I, probably I, gonna I have to put the Hurt on the X logo on there, too. Oh, Just change that tent to a round tent, something like that, and, and we'll, be, we'll be in good shape. Because it, I, another thing that i got to talk about, too, <laughs> it drives me insane. Do you notice that the only place that you can hear sound is if you go back to just before the lawn starts? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We talked about, the, well, it, it, for the viewers out there on uh, Ustream, Ustream.com oh, okay. and, uh, and, and the listeners, uh, you know, we get a lot of uh, tickets to come through the store and whatnot at uh, Rich's Music Exchange. And last, uh, I think, I believe it was two summers ago, uh, we got, I got, you got Katie and I tickets to go see Maroon 5. Oh, yeah. And uh, Counting Crows, and um, I, we missed the opening act. I'm trying to remember the girl's name, but it, irregardless. And uh, Maroon Five sounded great. We had pretty decent seats, and and I could hear everything. But I know the the phenomena that you're talking. If about. If you're in the first eleven rows, I mean, first eleven rows. And there's two spots for great sound there. The front, because basically you're hearing the monitors, hearing what the band's hearing, mm -hmm. or what you're saying, the back, right before the lock. Right. Mm -hmm. there, right. That's just a anywhere else. Employee. It's a crapshoot. That's a good way to put it. Um, we have a special guest calling in. Mick Hayes is actually sponsored by uh, Songhurst Guitars. And you played your guitar this week uh, a couple times that I was able to hear it. And I actually got to play it. It's phenomenal. Yeah. Um, and it's something that you designed. Uh, let's go to line four. Line four, Danny Songhurst calling from Spokane, Washington. How are you, sir? Mick, hey, I'm excellent. I'm, I'm very happy to be here. How are you doing, man? I'm doing good, man. And I just like you heard, I, I just finished a gig playing your guitar, and uh, it got played on Monday, got played twice on Friday, got played on Saturday, and got played today. So uh, uh, for the folks out there that are listening in the Western New York area, we want to first direct them to songhurstguitars.com. And then uh, right. tell, you know, tell us a little bit about what you're building today and uh, what, you know, what does the, the future hold for Songhurst Guitars? Well, we've got a lot of changes. I'm in the midst of about a, literally, and you're going to be happy about this, about a $5,000 website upgrade. So right. we invite anybody to check it out now, but it, understand it is temporary. It's, it's being gutted. Um, I just picked up a deal to, to build the signature models for Need to Breathe. Uh, probably you guys have heard of them. They're 
getting pretty huge nationally. Now they're going on tour with Train this summer. They're going to be using the Songhurst on, um, you know, Jimmy Kimmel. Mm-hmm. Had some players land us some spots on Ellen and the Rock Boat, and and um, you know a lot of hustlers like you that are that are out playing these guys probably two to one, playing twenty shows a month and pushing for me. So um, you know it's been a, a grassroots effort, and uh, things ha- have been going as good as I could hope for sure. So hey, Danny, this is Rich. It's a, it's a pleasure to talk to you. You you have no idea how much promotion. Uh, Mick does for you. He actually had these new uh, posters and cards made up where the the way the picture is taken, it's a very artistic photo, and you see the Songhurst name on the headstock. We're playing Monday, Memorial Day, at this beach club, and Mick hands them out on the brakes, and this is like the funniest thing ever. This girl goes, I know Danny. I went to prom with him. <laughs> Your prom date was at our gig. It's like 3,500 miles away. How cool is that, man? Yeah, that's, you know, it's, it is a small world. Uh, that, that's, yeah, that's too funny. I, I did see that picture. I think you posted it on Facebook. So, hi, Gina, if you're listening. <laughs> it was phenomenal. Yeah, I, I, I haven't seen or, or heard of her for 10 years, and then... Uh, Sure enough, you run into her playing a show. So oh, she told us stories about you too. We can't even talk about it on the air. <laughs> and the best part, she she actually she's like she's like I want to see the guitar. I want to see you know what this guy turned into. You know what is uh, uh what are you talking? Uh, we don't want to talk about age, but let's say over ten years is done. And uh, she she was impressed with the craftsmanship of that guitar is beautiful, and everybody I show it to said so, and even non guitar people say that that guitar is beautiful. So anybody that's interested yeah. in, in looking at it, you can go to my website. Uh, www.mickhaysband.com or go to songhurstguitars.com and make sure you check out some of the other guitars he's built and uh, you know pretty soon Dan we got to start putting together a plan for a, a, another Mick Hayes guitar here I think uh, not to put you on the spot but that guitar has definitely got me itching and and uh, for the listeners out there uh, one of the beautiful things about about Danny is uh, Danny said you know well what are some of the things that you would want in a guitar you know what's the perfect guitar that you've never owned and uh, I gave him this Cadillac list of things that I wanted, and Danny says, "Oh, it sounds like a really cool guitar, man. Let's build it." Sort of built a Frankenstein there. Oh, it's well, and that's yeah, that's. I mean, I love working with a guy like you that knows exactly what they want. And a lot of people give me pretty pretty well artistic freedom. They may know a couple things that they want, but uh, you know, the the important thing is everyone is built by me, start to finish. And they all turn out as nice as yours. I mean, they're all, they don't leave the shop unless they meet a certain standard. And I take them to all the other shops locally. I usually let a band, a local band, you know, gig with it before I send them in the mail. And, you know, some, some cats that I trust that, that are also picky. So, you know, they, they you could be confident if, if you pick one up that it will go out the door a, a very high standard. So... Well, Danny, again, thank you for calling in. I'm going to encourage you alone to go check out www.freehenryband.com. Uh, they're the band that we've got on a little bit later on. For the listeners out there, check out uh, Danny's uh, website at songhurstguitars.com. And, Danny, any final thoughts? No, hey, you guys just have a great Sunday uh, evening, and, and I wish the best to you guys. Okay, man. Thank you very much. Thanks, Dan. Take we're we're going to go to a commercial break. When we come back, Free Henry will be joining us. Stick around, folks. Heard it on the X.